So far, we've talked about good fossils and bad fossils. We've also talked about how evolution operates. As we further explore the fossil record, it's important to keep in mind that there's information above and beyond the fossils themselves that's important for us. You'll recall that evolution is a process that takes place across time. As such, the temporal component, when fossils come from, is also an important factor to keep in mind. For example, if we look at these two fossils, I would want to know which of these fossils comes from an earlier time period and which comes from a later time period. Ideally, I'd want to know as close as possible exactly how old these fossils are so that I can know the time difference separating them. Being able to incorporate that kind of information improves our ability to both develop and test models of evolution, how change occurs across time. You'll recall that fossils form best in a sedimentary environment. These are environments, such as the one you see here, where sediments are rapidly deposited. If you look at this river, you see that these are these sediment banks on either side of the river that are forming basically as that river is depositing sediments over time. You might also see that in the background we have a few peaks which are actually volcanoes. Volcanic ash is another way in which sediments are deposited within a landscape. So over time, these sediments are going to accumulate on top of each other, forming layers that we can then come back, identify, and examine. Here you see in this image a series of layers across a stratigraphic profile. As we begin to think about the relative age of specimens, it's important to note that as these sediments accumulate over time, the oldest ones are at the bottom and the youngest ones are at the top. So as a general rule of thumb, the deeper you go into a sedimentary context, the further back in time you go. Now, as we further develop our understanding of this process, we could take the information we've developed at one locality, the relative age of specific sediments and their sedimentary layers, and use that to extrapolate from one location to another location, even to a third location, to begin to correlate relative time period across different sites. Now, this process of sedimentation is oftentimes much more complex than simply a horizontal embedding of layers. Oftentimes, there are secondary or tertiary processes that make that basic stratigraphic sequence much more complex. In addition to depositing new layers, layers can erode away. Layers can be shifted because of tectonic forces so that they're not flat. In many cave sites, for example, such as the one you see here from northern Israel, there might be many complex factors which affect the overall stratigraphic sequence. Here within this profile, you can see a variety of different layers or sequences or different sedimentary events which have taken place that have shaped the overall stratigraphic profile that we see. Working together with geologists, developing an excellent stratigraphic understanding of a site, exactly what order events occurred in, how fossils were placed within this environment, is critical for us understanding the time associated with a fossil. When does a fossil come from? Is it earlier or later than other fossils? Does it come from the same relative time period as other fossils? Dating, in collaboration with geologists who are specialists in different kinds of dating techniques, is critical for developing appropriate and accurate evolutionary models. What will follow is a description of two kinds of dating techniques relative dating techniques, which attempt to place fossils into a relative sequence order, identifying those that are older and those that are younger, and absolute dating techniques, which attempt to assign a specific date to a specific fossil, or at least a specific fossil locality. Obviously, ideally, we want absolute dating techniques as they might provide more information, but not all contexts provide the kind of raw materials we need to develop absolute dating techniques.